Remember I talked about our urban landscapes where we have a lot of exposed surfaces. Now the more exposed surfaces you have, the more erosion you're going to get and more you're going to wash sediment into your drains. And then the sediment is going to accumulate in your low-lying areas where it's relatively flat. So part of the issue is that we need to address and prevent erosion of sediment into the drains in the first place. And that's where I talked about the kind of material, for example, the crush rubber ties to be used for beautifying the catchment, allowing water to percolate through the ground, but also it will prevent the water uh, erosion of sediment into the drains in the first instance. If you don't have erosion of sediment into the drains, you don't have to desilt, silt. Uh, but if, where you have to desilt, you could also think about it from a reusable or uh, perspective where that sediment can be used for construction or you know maybe maybe very polluted if you can wash it there are technologies to do to, to, to do that but the first point is prevent the sediment from getting into drains in the first place and uh, by beautifying the catchment with these kinds of recycled tires and and uh, permeable uh, pavements and stuff like that you prevent the erosion of surfaces uh, does that mean that dredging won't help us the dredging is uh, it's just like a band-aid it's it's because if you're not addressing the source of the problem in terms of sediment erosion into, then dredging, you, are you going to continue dredging every year? At, yeah, well, then, you know, but you're, you're, you're causing the erosion of your surfaces, that's the source. So go to the source and address the problem there rather than putting a band aid and you still have a festering sore. You know, go to the source and kill the problem that way rather than, you know, just putting on band aid after band aid after band aid after.